Alien mostly takes place aboard the commercial towing spaceship Nostromo. Seven crew members and their cat wake up from cryosleep expecting to be close to Earth, but instead find themselves super far away. Down on the new planet, they find a crashed ship that looks like a big curved uh, letter C. In what would be the shaft, a crew member finds a misty room full of eggs. One of the eggs opens up and ejaculates onto the dude's face. Eventually, it dies and falls off. Everything's fine, no problem. Until at dinner, surprise, this little guy starts murdering everyone aboard, ruining the main course. Ripley, our hot female hero, realizes that Ash is actually an android sent along by the enigmatic company to secretly bring the dangerous alien back to Earth. Piecing together that Ash is a total bag of dicks, Ripley lights him on fire. Meanwhile, everyone else dies before Ripley finally shoots the alien out of the airlock. Aliens, notice the S there, begins with the recovery of Ripley's escape pod and the revelation that she's been sleeping in space for 57 years. Everyone she ever knew, including her daughter, is now dead. Her Roth IRA, however, has tripled in value. Ripley is rebuked by the company for blowing up their spaceship. But they do offer to reinstate her if she'll escort a military team to the same planet where Ripley found the alien. Good idea, huh? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Turns out, they've been trying to terraform the planet for 20 years and recently lost contact with the base station. Ripley's team realizes that most of the terraformers are being held alive in alien cocoons because of some bullshit about company assets and biological weapons research. Ripley lights the eggs on fire, which super pisses off the queen, so she detaches from her removable vagina sack. Uh, the queen, not Ripley. Ripley fights the Round queen in a mechanical two. cargo suit, Point. which is surprisingly erotic, and then stuffs that bitch out the airlock. At the start of Alien 3, their ship crashes on the surface of some orange prison planet. On top of that, there were somehow facehuggers aboard, one on a crew member and another that attaches itself to the local guard dog. Coming right up, Dog Alien. Dog Alien starts murdering all the prisoners, and even has a chance to murder Ripley, but doesn't. She has an alien queen incubating inside of her. Whale and Yutuni arrive just in time to beg Ripley for the baby brewing inside of her, but rather than let the company have it, she throws herself into a vat of molten iron just as Ripley Jr. bursts from her chest, and the two of them die. Well, three of them, if you count the franchise. In Alien Resurrection, gone is Whale and Yutuni. They were bought out by Walmart, really, Walmart, and soon they're breeding aliens, and three guesses how that works out. So now the big bad company in this film has cloned Ripley using DNA found on the orange prison planet. The aliens, of course, escape and everyone dies, blah, blah, blah. Shit gets really gross when the queen, born from Ripley, stops her normal egg laying cycle to give birth to an alien vomit pile called the newborn. Ripley uses her acid blood to create a hull breach and blast the alien into space. Look, the only cool thing about this movie is that Winona Ryder runs around in a tight, wet wife beater. And so, after two fantastic movies and two totally crappy ones, are we still excited about Prometheus? The answer is a resounding yes. Don't forget, leave your comment below. Send us episode ideas. Drunk dial us. Booty call us. Serve us with a summons. Oh, and subscribe, dammit. Thank <laughs> you.